Hi friends, today we will be studying on chapter 1 biological molecules subtopic 1.3 lipids triglycerides and its functions. So the learning outcomes for this subtopic will be describe the structures, properties and distribution of triglycerides and state the function of triglycerides. So what are lipids? Lipids are organic compounds which composed of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. The same has the same organic compounds found in carbohydrates. But what is the difference is the proportion of oxygen in lipids are lesser compared to the proportion of oxygen atoms in carbohydrates. So lipids can be classified into three categories, simple lipids, compound lipids and derived lipids. So in simple lipids, uh, we have two types. One is fats and oils and waxes. An example of fats and oils are triglycerides. Triglycerides are made up of glycerol, which is an alcohol, and fatty acids. So in these fatty acids, we will be studying later. We have saturated fatty acid and unsaturated fatty acids. Saturated fatty, saturated fatty acids examples are palmitic acid and stearic acid which we will study later and the unsaturated fatty acid we have mono unsaturated fatty acid and poly unsaturated fatty acids the examples of mono unsaturated fatty acid is oleic acid and for poly unsaturated fatty acid is linoleic acid and linolenic acid so lipids are also uh, categorized as compound lipids which can be categorized into phospholipid and glycolipid. So in phospholipid, we'll be studying about lecithin. And in derived lipids, we have steroids, terpenes and carotenoids. We'll study more on steroids, particularly cholesterol. So the physical properties of lipids is they are soluble in non-polar organic solvents. Examples like chloroform, benzene. Why it's soluble in non-polar organic solvents? Because lipids itself is a non-polar molecule. So therefore, it will be insoluble in water. We know that water is a polar molecule, right? So lipids will be insoluble in water and also other polar organic solvents such as ethanol, methanol, water, acetic acid. And lipids also have less density compared to water. Therefore, what happens is for example, lipids is nothing but fats and oils, right? So, for example, if you take an oil or vegetable oil or any oil, you pour in a beaker of water, what happens is you will see that uh, the oil will float on the water because the density of oil or lipids is, called, is less denser than the density of water. And it also has high viscosity. Viscosity means the resistance of fluid to flow, right? So, for example, if it, it has high viscosity means the fluid is thick, sticky and it flows slowly. So, for example, if you take, if you pour a substance like oil and also you pour a substance like water, what happens is uh, oil has high viscosity because it is thick, the fluid is thick and it's sticky and it flows slowly compared to when you pour water. You can see that water has less viscosity because it flows quickly, right? And also lipids, they leave grease spots on paper. They are greasy. So for example, like if you buy a fried food packed in a paper bag, after a, for a, after a moment you can see there are grease spots on the paper. So this is also a physical properties of lipids. The chemical properties of lipids is it differs, it, it has different chemical structure for different categories. Basically lipids are esters because they form from alcohol and fatty acids. So if an alcohol is combined with a fatty acid, you can form a ester. So fatty acids consist of a carboxylic acid, right? This is a carboxylic acid and a hydrocarbon. Carboxylic acid and a hydrocarbon. And it will combine with the alcohol. The alcohol has a hydroxyl group and also a hydrocarbon group. 
so what happens is the fatty acid and the alcohol will undergo condensation reaction condensation reaction means the removal of water right removal of water so the OH in the uh, fatty acid the carboxylic acid will be removed and the H in the alcohol or hydroxyl group will be removed so these and these both will be removed to form water and the remaining is what hydrocarbon the carbon uh, bonded to oxygen double bonded oxygen and the uh, alcohol the oxygen and the hydrocarbon will be uh, combined to form a ester right so this reaction is called as condensation because uh, water is removed so examples of lipids are triglycerides phospholipids steroids and waxes now in this video we we'll study on triglycerides the next and the next videos we will study more on phospholipids and steroids so the structure properties and distribution of triglycerides is if the triglycerides are solid at room temperature they are called as fat if it's a liquid at room temperature is considered as oil so we all know that triglyceride is a ester right so one molecule of glycerol and three molecules of fatty acids forms a triglycerides so how it forms is again it undergoes condensation reaction right so here you have glycerol and here you have three fatty acids one fatty acid two fatty second fatty acid and the third fatty acids right so what happens we know that it will form a ester so to form ester what happens is the H in the hydroxyl group sorry the H in the ox hydroxyl group from the alcohol will be removed and the OH from the carboxylic group will be removed so it forms water again one hydrogen atom and hydroxyl OH from the carboxyl group will be removed it forms a water again it will form a water right so from here we can know that glycerol plus three fatty acid it will give us three molecules of water three h2 so therefore it will form a three glyceride so it means they have three fatty acids and one glycerol right so this forms a esters all these are called as esters and this is water therefore glycerol plus three fatty acids it gives triglyceride and also three molecules of water so the reaction is called as esterification or condensation so esterification is nothing but condensation between the h in alcohol and also the oh in fatty acids so you see the OH in the fatty acids will be removed and the H from the alcohol group will be removed. So this form is the and uh, water, water molecule will be produced because condensation is nothing but a removal of water. So this reaction occurs in the adipose tissue in the liver and if in the plants it occurs in the chloroplast and seeds. So usually the fatty acids found in triglyceride, right? They are often the same. So for example, like tristerine, it consists of one glycerol and three stearic acids. So we can see that the stearic acids are same type. The physical properties of triglycerides is the same as lipids. Uh, it is insoluble in water. It has less density, which means it floats on water. And it is soluble in non-polar organic solvents such as acetone, benzene, chloroform. And it forms an emulsion if shaken with alcohol. How it forms an emulsion we will see deeper in uh, phospholipid topic, right? And also it forms grease spots on paper. Chemical properties of triglycerides are they become rancid 
Uh, rancid means they give out uh, unpleasant smell or taste if kept for too long outside uh, with an exposed air. Why? Because it will react with the atmospheric oxygen. So if for example you keep a fried food, right? For example, French fries outside and you just leave it open without closing it with a lid or keeping it in a Tupperware, what will happen is the fried food, which is fried French fries will be exposed to the oxygen, atmospheric oxygen, and will it will undergo oxidation reaction. Therefore, it will uh, give a, it will become rancid, which gives an unpleasant smell or taste, right? And to test the presence of lipids is, we will use Sudan 3 region. Sudan 3 region will be used to test the presence of lipids. How? Uh, for example, if you have lipids in the solution, the sudentary reagent will stain the lipid in uh, red uh, in red so red stain oil layer of droplets will be formed if lipid is present uh, so hydrolysis of triglycerides to form a glycerol and fatty acids needs enzyme uh, such as lipase or we can boil it with a dilute alkali so the distribution of triglycerides in animals is in the cytoplasm of adipose cells so this is adipose cells adipose cells is nothing but fat cells found in bo in our body it is actually body fat or body uh, fat cells so we call it as adipose cells and the lipids or triglyceride will be stored as oil droplets in the cytoplasm of the fat cells so for example you see this is the fat cell if we zoom in this is the nucleus and this is the cytoplasm and this is the lipid droplet. So triglyceride will be formed, will be found in here, will be stored in the uh, cytoplasm of the fat cell. So where these adipose cells can be found, it can be found in underneath our skin, uh, surrounding the intestines and also kidney and heart. In plants, it is found in seeds, fruit falls, oil plum fruits, sunflower seeds and groundnuts. So the function of triglycerides are they act as an energy source. So they give provide more energy 38 kilojoule compared to carbohydrates which only gives us 17 kilojoules of energy which means uh, lipids or triglycerides act as a long term energy storage compared to carbohydrates with, uh, which act as a short term term uh, energy storage and also it uh, act as an energy reserve where it will be stored it will be stored in the adipose tissue of animals and plants triglycerides also act as an insulator it insulates animal body from cold and also ensures survival in cold temperature and it also protects the organs from physical damage for example we know that uh, adipose tissue will be found near the intestines, kidney, heart, muscle, right? Because it gives mechanical support for the organs and also prevent it from physical damage. Triglycerides also act as a waterproof. Our skin is covered with oil, uh, which is which the oil will be secreted from the sebaceous glands, which is often found on our skin, our face and also hair. And it also found in the fur and feather of animals. So it acts as a insulators for animals. For example, it can found in the uh, feather of the birds and the fur of the animals. The cuticles of the leaves. We can find the triglycerides on the cuticles of the leaves. This is to prevent uh, from excessive evaporation. So that's all for triglycerides. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.